Welcome back to Between Bells, everybody. Tani Adewumi is America's newest chess master. He's just 10 years old and the 28th youngest person to achieve the status in this country. His journey to success didn't come without its set of challenges. His family migrated from Nigeria to escape the terrorist group Boko Haram and settled in New York City where they lived in a homeless shelter. Now, despite the odds, Tani kept practicing and in 2019 went on to win the New York State Chess Championship for his age group. Now he's got one big goal in mind to become a chess grandmaster. In the meantime, Donnie is in St. Louis to help open the 2021 U.S. Juniors and Senior Chess Championship. Joining us now is chess master Tani Adewumi. Welcome, welcome, Tani. I'm so excited to talk to you. Most kids your age would be playing video games, but chess is what spoke to you. What about the game drew you to it? Uh, I enjoy chess um, because it's creative and uh, it's unpredictable. Basically. It's unpredictable. Interesting. And you're juggling school and practice at the same time. How often do you practice chess? Um, I probably do around maybe six, seven, eight hours a day. Uh, it kind of depends if there's school. Um, but like now there's summer, so uh, probably around eight, nine, 10 hours. Wow, so let's say six to 10 hours a day throughout the year, not including the school year. You said probably six hours for, those, for that time. How do you manage your time? I know grown adults who can't do that. I mean, I just, I, there's nothing else to do, so <laughs> the best thing to do. Okay, you said in an interview that you're always thinking ahead and you can see moves far in advance. What's your strategy, Tani, when you're playing? I mean, I just, I like to play everything. I'm not as kind of like very standard. I, just, I like to be creative with what I do. Creative how? Don't, I don't want, you don't share your secrets, but what do you mean creative? I mean, I try to like make this move and that move, like shake, shake the position up. Okay, in May, you became the newest national chess master. You beat out two chess experts, a master and an international master. We're looking at the pictures now. What was that like? Were you intimidated? How did the day unfold, honey? I mean, I just, I liked, I liked it. I, I was just learning more and I had a lot of fun. You're learning from the best, right? And you're not just a chess player, you're also an author. You wrote two books. They're going to become movies. Congratulations, you're just 10 years old. How is that process going? Uh, I mean, I just practice and do my thing. Do you have an actor that you have in mind to play you? That you would um, love, like a dream character? Exactly, no. No? Okay, that's okay. So you're down in St. Louis right now, like we mentioned, for the U.S. Juniors and Senior Chess Championship to make the ceremonial first move that is quite, quite the recognition. Since you're not competing, are you checking out the competition? Are you getting ideas? What, what else are you doing over there? I'm going to look at some games and the do you watch chess games a lot in your off time? Yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, do, do you just watch online? Just a lot of these. Do you watch chess masters? What, uh, what do you? Who do you watch? Um, I watch a lot of people. Um, a lot of grandmasters at top of top. I watch online because I don't think there's any other way to do it. Sure. So. Um, you know, the story, I know you're probably too young for this show, The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, but have people mentioned or made us any similarities to you and the character in that show? Yeah, I have watched it. <laughs> oh, you have watched it. What did you think? And are, what did you think of it as you're watching this young girl kind of with a similar background excel at chess? I mean, I, I think it was a very good show. I, I think I could relate to it. And uh, yeah, I, re I really liked the show. That's it. Yeah, I did too. It was one of my favorite shows that I watched. I don't have yeah. to tell you, Tani, losing is part of the game. How do you handle a loss, especially at such a young age? And what do you learn from it? I mean, I just learned the mistake that I made because when you lose, there's have to be a mistake made. It's not you play perfectly and you lose. Like, that's just not possible. So, I mean, I don't really think of it as losing. I think of it as a learning experience. You are so mature, so talented. Such a pleasure to talk to you. We hope you come back. Good luck. We'll be watching you. Chess master Tani Adawumi.